What's up guys, Justin here of Figatech, and today we're checking out Realme's latest release here in the Philippines, the C25S. Now if you're wondering, it's essentially the same phone as the C25 that launched back in April, with a slight performance upgrade in the form of a MediaTek Helio G85 processor. Anyway, let's get it out of the box. So we have here Realme's signature yellow box, and lifting it up, we already get the smaller yellow box that says, hey, welcome to Realme family. In it, you can find the manuals and warranty, a free black tinted jelly case and the SIM ejector tool. And then we get the phone itself. Well, it looks like the first Realme C25. Nothing new in design here. Now other things in the box are this power adapter and the USB Type-C cable. As I've said, this is essentially the same exact phone as the C25, especially in terms of its build. Coming in at a size of 6.5 inches, we get a good size for doing a variety of tasks such as watching videos, social media usage, and gaming. It's fairly thick at 9.6 millimeters, which can be attributed to both its budget nature and huge 6,000 mAh battery. This makes it slightly more difficult to hold one-handed compared to something thinner, but that's a subjective matter anyway. The right side contains the volume rocker and power button which are placed towards the upper middle of the frame. On the left, we have the card tray that can accommodate two nano SIM cards and a micro SD card, which is pretty nice. At the bottom, we have a 3.5mm headphone port, the main microphone, USB Type-C port, and loudspeaker. Meanwhile, up front, we get a 6.5-inch IPS LCD display running at a resolution of 720 by 1600 pixels with a peak brightness of 570 nits, which is actually another upgrade over the C25 that only gets up to 480 nits. But aside from the brighter screen, it's pretty much what you'd expect from this sort of entry-level IPS panel in terms of colors, contrast, and viewing angles. The side bezels are fairly thin while the chin part is a little thicker. Meanwhile, the top bezel contains the speakerphone as well as the 8 megapixel front camera. Checking out the back panel, it's made of textured plastic which means you get a grippier surface without the drawbacks of glass, such as being a fingerprint and smudge magnet. Found here are the square-shaped triple camera module on the upper left, capacitive fingerprint scanner on the upper middle, and you can't miss it, a Realme logo on the lower left. Our unit here is in the water blue color, but the C25S is also available in water gray. Taking a closer look at those cameras, the rear module is composed of a 48 megapixel main sensor, a 2 megapixel depth sensor, and a 2 megapixel macro. Again, this is the same as the C25. To give you an idea, here are a few sample photos we were able to get. Getting into the internals, the C25S is powered by a MediaTek Helio G85 processor, which is a slight upgrade over the C25's Helio G70. This is paired with 4GB of RAM and 64 or 128GB of internal storage. In terms of performance, the G85 is only marginally better than the G70, with the biggest jump only being a 1000MHz GPU turbo speed from the former versus 820MHz on the latter. For this reason, we're not entirely sure why Realme decided to release the C25S in the first place with a seemingly insignificant upgrade over the C25. Or perhaps, why release the C25 at all and just go with the C25S? In any case, the C25S is here and is available for purchase for 7,490 pesos, which is the 4 gigabytes plus 64 gigabytes model, and 8,490 pesos for the 4 gigabytes plus 128 gigabytes model. And yeah, that's it for now. Let us know in the comment section if you guys want to see a full review or what your thoughts are on this Realme C25S. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to our channel for more content, hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads, and be sure to visit yigatech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. Once again, this is Justin, and don't forget to wash your hands and stay at home.